Hello everyone. Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Today, we are going to introduce you to the liposomal delivery systems in cancer therapy. We will discuss seven parts, including the background, the introduction of liposomes, functional liposome development, two major methods for liposome drug loading, liposomal drug delivery system for cancer therapy, liposomal formulations of anti-cancer drugs in clinical trials, and Creative Biolabs liposome services and products. Cancer is a life-threatening disease, causing approximately 3.4 million deaths worldwide. The first-line treatment for cancer is the surgical removal of solid tumors, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. However, these methods have many limitations that need to be resolved. For example, surgical resection is not suitable for tumors that are invisible or uncertain. Radiotherapy effectively destroys cancer cells while also damaging non-cancer cells. Most APIs used in chemotherapy are highly cytotoxic to cancer cells and normal cells. And some anti-cancer agents are highly hydrophobic, resulting in low bioavailability. Therefore, targeting the tumor vasculatures is essential for cancer treatment. In this context, Encapsulating anti-cancer drugs in liposome systems provides a safe platform for targeted drug delivery for cancer treatment. Liposomes, first discovered by Ali Bangham in 1963, are the most studied nanostructures for advanced drug delivery. Liposomes are artificial spherical vesicles prepared from natural phospholipids and have one or more lipid B layers with discrete aqueous spaces. Because of their amphiphilic properties in aqueous media unique hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails, they are suitable for a range of pharmaceutical and biomedical applications. For instance, hydrophobic compounds enter the double membrane, while hydrophilic compounds are encapsulated in the water core. Due to their biocompatibility and drug encapsulation ability, liposomes are a promising nanocarrier for drug delivery. However, traditional liposomes have some unsolved problems, such as low targeting and stability in vivo, easy to be destroyed by various hydrolyses or removed from circulation by the reticuloendothelial system. To address these problems, the liposome surface is often modified in applications to compensate for its shortcomings or to enhance some functional advantages. For example, liposomes can be functionalized with polyethylene glycols, PEGs, aptamers, antibodies, proteins, peptides, ligands, carbohydrates, or small molecules. This is the schematic representation of the preparation of the pegylated DOTAP dope liposomes and lipoplexes. The liposomes, resulting from the hydration of a lipid film composed of DOTAP and dope, were incubated with the negatively charged high light 488 labeled ONS to form lipoplexes. The post pegylation was achieved by adding DSPE PEG at a final concentration of 10%. Next, we will talk about liposome encapsulation. There are two methods for liposomes drugs loading, passive and active loading. Figure A shows the passive loading process. In general, hydrophilic compounds are uniformly distributed inside liposomes, while hydrophobic drugs are retained in the liposome phospholipid bilayer. Specifically, when working with poorly water-soluble drugs, the drugs are first dissolved with lipids in an organic solvent, followed by solvent evaporation to prepare a drug containing thin film, which is later hydrated with an aqueous phase to prepare liposomes. When loading water-soluble drugs, the lipid film is dispersed in a drug containing aqueous phase. Figure B is the process of active loading. The first generated liposomes contain a transmembrane gradient, i.e., the aqueous phases inside and outside the liposomes are different. Subsequently, an amphiphilic drug dissolved in the exterior aqueous phase can permeate across the phospholipid bilayer and then interact with the trapping agent in the core to lock in the drug. This is the whole process of the liposomal drug delivery system for cancer treatment. First, the corresponding molecules are modified on the surface of liposomes to make them have specific functions. At the same time, 
the anti-cancer drug is loaded into the hydrophilic core of the liposome in accordance with the above method to form drug-loaded liposomes. Usually, the void size of tumor vascular epithelial cells are between 80 nanometers and 200 nanometers, while the voids of normal cells are less than 30 nanometers. So, liposomes with suitable particle sizes can reach the tumor without entering healthy cells. Over time, liposomes accumulate in tumor tissue. Liposomes then enter tumor cells by endocytosis. Under the influence of the internal environment of tumor cells, liposomes release drugs and act on tumor cells to achieve the purpose of cancer treatment. Numerous studies have shown that lipid-based drug delivery systems perform well when used as diagnostic and therapeutic tools in cancer research and therapy. Lipid-based drug delivery systems exhibit many advantages when applied to cancer therapy, such as Minimizing targeted therapies and toxic side effects of drugs. Enhancing the bioavailability of hydrophobic anti-cancer drugs. Reducing the clearance of anti-tumor drugs by immunity. Enhancing drug solubility. Prolonging the systemic circulation time of delivered anti-tumor drugs. Providing targeted drug delivery. Improving multi-drug resistance. Protecting drugs against their surrounding environment. Over the past few years, a number of liposomal chemotherapeutic formulations have been approved by EMA and FDA for the treatment of various cancers because of the positive outcomes observed during clinical studies. These formulations include doxyl, myoset, and downosome. Moreover, as shown in the table below, there are several other anti-cancer drug encapsulated liposome formulations currently undergoing different stages of clinical trials or awaiting approval. The growing number of liposomal drug formulations available represents the enormous potential for the application of lipid-based nanoparticles in the treatment of cancer. Innovations in liposome technology have also seen the emergence of the next generation of lipid-based nanoparticles, including solid lipid nanoparticles, nanostructured lipid carriers, and lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticles, which will hopefully overcome current drawbacks presented by liposomes. Creative Biolabs custom liposome services can regulate the solubility of encapsulated small organic molecules, protect the embedded agents from degradation, and achieve site-specific delivery. The services include liposome formulation design, liposome encapsulation, and liposome drug complex analysis and characterization. We provide various novel liposome formulations including long circulating liposome, stimuli responsive liposome, cationic liposome, and so on. And our products include various liposomes, phospholipids and other lipids. Please contact us if you have any questions about liposomes or liposomal based drug delivery systems. We will provide the most appropriate solutions according to your needs.